Hello folks, welcome to episode 4 of our Starbound Fucking Universe Season 4 2021 edition. So, yes, and we're going to try to add some power to our base, get up, get up to tier 2 I believe it's called, get some power into our base and do a few other things besides. Um, also, the um, uh, mod has updated a little bit, it always does when I'm making episodes, so things change from episode to episode, um, including my main man, my character, uh, my furry 2, um, let's just get you up. Uh, my Feritu race, um, there's a lot of the stats have changed, but also the um, the shooty-shooty thing that I've got um, now no longer points towards what buttons I'm pressing, it points towards the mouse cursor. So it's much, much, much better. It's so much easier to control, and you can mine things out in a much more systematic, sensible way, provided that you've got the energy, which does run out very quickly still. And there's a few other things, like I'm no longer, I think I'm, I've changed my resistances, so I think I'm no longer like I'm bad against certain things, but I'm also not good against certain things as well. I've got a list, but we won't go into it because it's not going to affect us anytime soon. So there's quite a few things we need to actually get going with if we're going to get power sorted. We'll need to unlock a lot of research, but look, this is some, some stuff that I've been doing off camera. Um, I've expanded my hand mills, so there's lots of this going on, and I'm putting all the apples and logs through, the steel and everything, so we're now getting absolute shit tons of hydrogen. I'll take these out, and this one, uh, so we can turn this into ship's fuel. In fact, it already is ship's fuel, but you know what I mean. So we've got an absolute monstrous amount of this now, hopefully. Where is it? 336. That's enough to fly to a new system, that's pretty much it, admittedly. But, yeah, it's a lot easier to actually chop these down as well now. Here we go. With, I mean, I've just replaced all the trees now with uh, apple trees, just to make sure that we've got fuel sorted. And we also need the logs, of course, for, you know, what we need. Get rid, get rid, get rid. Uh, so this is a work in progress based on some more of Red Vengers, some advice from the comments. Uh, this is going to be a mixing area where we'll end up hopefully getting some organic soup via poison and stuff like that, using infinite supplies and, yeah, all kinds of stuff like that. What I might do is go into, I think, chemistry? Uh, we can unlock alchemy table, which would be good. We've got all the little bits and bobs for this. That's all fine. That unlock a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't think we're going to do much with that just yet, admittedly. Although we can actually, I think that gets us fertilizer. Um, uh, the ability to unlock that, but we will need some mulch for that, or whatever. We can we can we can use the organic soup as fertilizer, but we can also use there's a few other things as well, like liquefied crystal that I got from the crystalline planet. Apparently that's a good fertilizer. But let's not worry about that just yet. I want to go. I want to go bee making. I know we've done bees before, and I said I wasn't going to do any. But apparently, um, Revenge points out that you can actually extract queens for genes. Beekeeping, five hundred research. We've currently got almost twenty thousand. This unlocks all the bee various things. Improved beekeeping in tier two. Um, that may become useful. But okay, let's actually try and get a few bees sorted. We will need a beearium. Which may be... There it is. AP crafting station. All it needs is timber. I don't know where we're going to put this yet. I think the bees are going to probably go over to the right somewhere. But we say we're only going to have a couple of hives. This is just so we can get some um, genes on the go. Um, put it down here for now. Not the most exciting place, but it'll do. So we need a couple of apiaries. Honey extractor, where? Whatever. So these need flowers as well, so we'll probably put down some doit. This is, this is going to be the most rough and ready bees we've ever done, and I've done some rough, <laughs> I've done some rough old bees in my time. So this is just for growing the growing of the seeds, and we've got plenty of flowers here and there. So these this will just make sure that the the, the bees do actually operate. Although it's night time now, so that's not going to happen. Um, yellow flowers. Um, not sure as many things as I think. A blue. I'm not sure, even sure blue orchids will work. One apiary, two apiaries, back to back. And we, need to re we actually do need to go and find some bees. So we need a bug net, which will be from over the hunting table over here. We need string, which will be from here. Not one, oh my god, no. Ten string will do. Bug net, craft, and... Bug? Right, are there any bugs here? I did actually see one. I saw a white one down here earlier, but it's gone. Apparently, um, one of the things we need to do when we'll get into tier 3 and everything is some titanium. And there is titanium on ocean planets, but not in very big amounts. 
So I might do a little bit of a swim later to see if we can get some. And we need to unlock it. That's um, the whole research thing. That means we need to unlock that. And that's under geology. Uh, I've unlocked gold and... I've got to the stage of tungsten, but yes. Um, geology 3 is where we're going to get the titanium. Um, so we can get the titanium ore and then put it through the furnace, but only once we've done that. I think it might be best to go to another planet if we're going to get bees. Oh, we honestly don't need to get any complex bees, we just need to get pretty much the basics. Um, so I think I'll go to... I might actually go to the rainforest. That's a, that's a nice little glitch village that um, I marked. Because what I want to kind of do for the um, for the mixing... Oh god, I've got tropical heat here. Uh, but one of the things I want to do for the um, the, the mixing district I've got on the planet is uh, we need a, sw a switch of some kind. And that kind of needs a wiring station which needs um, titanium. Um, but we may be able to find one here. So if I find something... Let's try and get the wiring thing up. If I find something that switch uh, that actually acts as a switch... I might, might be overcomplicating this. Uh, Find something that acts as a switch, we can use that and before having to actually craft it ourselves at tier 3. But I say I'm also looking for bees right now. They look like bananas, those trees. I'm going to do stuff. Also, there's some old mozzies. Which turn, turning me green. They are alien vi- oh god, holy shit, an alien virus. Never seen this status effect before. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, you know what? Maybe this is a character where I need to actually start thinking about getting armor that actually increases my energy rather than health like I usually do. Because this this is very powerful. It, but it runs out as I say, it runs out so fast. I've been back. And something interesting is happening. I've cheated death, and healing is prevented. And with this alien virus is absolutely kicking my ass. But it doesn't seem to be killing me. I'm going very green. But yeah, I can't actually heal. This is most odd. So I've never seen this before, uh, and it does suggest that before I can get bees from that planet and all that, I will need better weapons. So I think we're in the middle of several things now. I've got to tr try and keep track of all this. I think I do need to make sure that I'm a bit more healed. And this alien virus, hopefully, is going to disappear very soon. Oh. I can make a tungsten broadsword. That's just simply better. <laughs> um, tier 2, there we go. That is better than my stupid ass um, pop top thing, even though that did inflict bleeding. And that's good. Um, ideally, I, I bit, want a bit more defense and um, a bit more armor, but we should be okay. Maybe I won't go back to the rainforest one. Maybe I'll just go back to the lush planet. As I say, we, ju we just need the most basic bees possible, so let's, let's at least stay safe. Now, this is good news. Look, got two bees. It's not a bee. <laughs> Piss. Oh, game. That has to be it. Oh, look! Fast bee! That's probably a good thing. Hang on. Apparently I've been down here before. Ha! Huh. Huh. Right, i got double bee. I think one of them... Yeah, I recognise these from the update. Um, oh, oh my god. Oh, that's from when I died. Um, okay. Ah, uh, the leaf cutter. That's kind of like what I probably want. Although that's only a drone. If we get a queen, we can breed them up, though. Leaf cutter queen, and then we'll get... All sorts of hilarious stuff going on. But spare queens is the main thing. A squash queen. Oh, we've got squash queen. And we've got a... Oh, we've got two squash queens. God damn it. Oh, we need one queen and one drone of the same species. Ideally. Stop going to holes. You little sh... Shack monster. Is this a queen? Oh no, this is this is it. This is what we need. This is what we need. Orchid drone and orchid queen. Perfect. We have got what we came for. So let's try. If I'm if I'm doing this correctly, I also need to make the, the anti mite frame. Hopefully, I'm doing this correctly. I might be completely wrong about this. Um, I should I should do quests and everything, but this might work. We might not. Uh, where's the mic frame gone? It's in there. It's also night time, so that nothing's going to happen just yet. But the flowers have grown, so that's a good thing. So a quick check here on our growing. I've just let this happen. Is the spuds. The spuds are actually growing and also rotting to some extent. Also some plant fibre. In here we've got hops for days now. And some more hops there as well. 
um, including get more plant fibre. Um, I'll sort some more of this stuff out off camera because I don't really want to be doing loads and loads of farming on camera. Uh, we need to actually get on with some power. Um, that's going to require a little bit of unlocking, but I also need to get some titanium. So whilst it's night time, I think I'm going to go for a quick swim to try and see if there's any on this planet, otherwise I'll have to go elsewhere. That might have been a shark. That might have been a shark. I think they added sharks recently. God, there's a lot of them. Whatever they are. They seem more dolphin-y than, than shark. They keep on charging all over the shop. Don't like them. Oh, that's, that's literally going into a death hole. We don't want to be doing that. Right. Destroy the planet. Well, I found tungsten. Um, now we've gone below the sand layer into the... Um, it's the mushy biome of oh, some, some description. Hang on. What's that? Is that titanium? No, it's more tungsten, isn't it? That's, that's titanium? That's titanium. Well, that's actually enough to unlock um, titanium. So let's do that down here. Uh, geology. Titanium. We just need one titanium. And we've unlocked that. Learn to craft titanium bar. Ooh, treasure. Ooh, all the treasure. Excellent. Including, yes, more titanium and a dagger, a tier 3 dagger. Ooh, treasure hunting down here. Quite lucrative. Tell you what, I'll be um, happy at the end of this episode if we've just got storage. Mainly for food as well, so it doesn't all go off. But we can also sort out... Oh, we haven't got titanium. Maybe we just need to upgrade the, f upgrade the furnace. Uh, we just need a bit of glass for that. Thankfully, the furnace itself will provide that. And now we can do titanium. How much did I get? Oh, 72. Okay, that's decent. Tungsten. And all the rest as well. All the stuff that we have got. Convert. Did you get much gold? <laughs> there we go. Sorted. Okay, so now we can get into the titanium age. And it means we can probably start upgrading other stuff as well that we'll need to get up to, like, tiers 2 and 3. Uh, not this one, though, because we need silicon board, for which we need silicon. Which I think you can get quite easily in Fracking Universe. So we could actually unlock wind turbines. I mean, the solar is probably first, but I say that needs silicon. But if we go for wind, that needs titanium, which is a slightly later material. But we can do that, because we've got the copper wire and everything. Quite expensive research this, so almost 4,000. But it does mean that we can theoretically craft a wind turbine. But we'll need an electronic sensor, won't we? And I think... Can we actually make that yet? Electronic center. Yes, we can. We just need glass and... Oh, yes, we need. We do need a source of silicon. <laughs> Again. I think there's a chance silicon is extracted from sand. But again, this is a handmill operation, so it'll take a while. In the meantime, I shall go and check on the other stuff. The bees are now going. Yes. Well, let the bees do their thing. And then probably forget about them and they'll, then they'll all die. But never mind. Anyway, so... We have absolute F tons of hydrogen now. Oh, only, only from those two anyway. So we can we can fly elsewhere. Anyway, let's see if we've got the. There we go, silicon. Very straightforward. Which means we can now. Well, we can unlock. Let's unlock stuff. And we need to unlock electronics. Oh no, let's, let's go for solar, because that's only that's tier 2, so that should theoretically be easier, because we only need silver for that. So we'll do that and all, but we'll also need to get our electronic centre sorted, which is also at this. Uh, oh yes, we need silicon board and glass. Unfortunately, that's going to require possibly a bit more. Oh no, okay. Five of them. Oh, we can upgrade that and all. And a bit of glass. A thousand? Mm. <laughs> Possibly not. And I think, unfortunately, we still need a bit more silicon. Oh, no, we don't. We have enough. Oh, so, yeah, because it doesn't require raw silicon, it requires silicon board. And we have our electronic centre, so we can make the very startings of power. I have to learn all this stuff from fresh every time I play this bloody mod. And power. So, I, I like how few things there are in this now. Um, you, know, you, have, you actually have to unlock everything. And solar panel, just require, we've, got, we've got everything but silicon. And wind turbine, we've got everything but silicon. But we have got an alternator generator, which does actually provide... We can we can burn all the wood that we're making. Well, that's a nice little... I'm not even sure it's tier one, really, but... Let's place that down. That's going to be our very first power solution. 
It's not great. But we can put wood in it. We can make power. We haven't actually got anything to power at the moment, but we'll get onto that, I think, in the next episode. And um, so, silicon. Let's try and get some more silicon. I want the quick thing we'll to remember. And um, we can put the liquefied crystal that, that I um, harvested off camera to put into there as fertilizer. So, that should increase. Growth rate 2.5? Bloody hell. That's really good. Minus one seed juice as well, so that should get spuds a bit quicker. Right, so we've got enough stuff now to do some stuff. That is indeed stuff. Oh, we've got drains! That's very exciting because, unfortunately, this diagonal roofing is not very good for keeping the rain out. Um, so we can up. Oh, we need a bit more copper wire. Okay, well, we can make rare wind turbine. Let's put that... Can you put it there? <laughs> I might have to put this whole thing on the roof. I don't know why I've got an attic. That's not doing anything, but... Um, I'll just put that there for now. And I've unlocked wiring, so at some point I'll um, sort out the wiring. And once we've actually got some... I think next time we'll, we'll definitely want to have something that's powered. There's the wind. It's quite a rainy planet, this, but I wasn't quite sure about the wind. So we need to make sure that we can actually extract these bees after all that. Three genes from there. See if this is possible. I don't know if it is. No, that's completely wrong. <laughs> no, it's actually young queens that you put in, but it's not actually that. You have to put it through an actual extractor. An extraction mill will work. Now I'm just going to... Oh, here we go. Here's a young orchid queen. And also loads of stuff as well, like bee silk and golden wood. Must, must, mustn't forget that. So hopefully one of these... Yes, will give us five genes, and we'll be very happy indeed, probably. But yeah, that might take some time. It was actually very quick. Um, okay, by baby lava, and also five whole genes. So every time we produce a, um, some young queens, like we've just done it again, uh, we can get five genes just by doing the old switcheroo like this. Nice. And then we can grow more seeds, expand our district, and stuff. So actually, there's a million things I want to do, um, all of which require a lot of effort, which I think we should do for next time. And what I want to do is um, put the power to use by making a slightly upgraded version of, like, centrifuges and whatever, um, which will do will require a little stuff. Um, it's, that's all fine and everything, but we do need batteries. That's going to be a thing. Big, big old batteries. That does require sulfuric acid and lead, neither of which we've actually got at the moment. So we'll be needing to get that so we can store the power and then hook it all up and everything like that. Oh, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do to finish off, is to make that fridge I was talking about. I'll set up some more, a, a storage area at some point, but a simple fridge, I think, would be good right now. Damn it, if we're going to make a fridge, we need oil for advanced plastics. And to make oil, we need corn or, um, more importantly, I think, uh, bones. Um, or, I reckon we could get it through a uh, tar biome, and one of the planets in this system actually does have a tar biome. This is a penumbral planet, so it may be terrible. <laughs> it may just be awful. But we should be fine. I think it's going to be a bit poisonous down here for some, for some description. I've set myself up a little flag, as per use, so we can get back here at any time. Ha! Oh dear, that's actually... Oh. Ooh. I'm getting poisoned. I think this might be acid rain. Oh, that's okay. We've actually found a town. Hang on. This may be okay. Oh, it's a... Uh-oh. It might actually be a dungeon town. Ooh. This is not good. We may need to go. I don't know where there'll be a time. Uh, that planet just seems inho inhospitable. <laughs> if we can even say the words. So I'm making a bit of a risk here to try and get some tar. I'm going to go to a tar ball planet, which is a long way away. Is 741 fuel, which is just enough. And we've got just enough um, from all that hy um, hydrogen production. But this is going to be a high-tier planet, I think. Wherever the hell it is. Not the, not you. There you are. I dread to think what sort of atmospheric condi um, conditions this is. Don't care. Grabbing guitar. So the only problem with this place is it's got uh, mild heat. Um, and I seem to be resistant to that these days. I think the, um, the stat change has happened... Um, that changed recently in the game. In, in the mod... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, there's a lad. Well, probably time to leave. I've got so much tar already that we've got. It. Well, it should have enough. 
just by doing that. So the proper way of doing the oil thing is um, bones or corn, but I just couldn't seem to get much in the way of corn. I think I've I've started growing some somewhere, possibly. Maybe. Oh yes, here we go in the um, in the potato place. But I've got that the right way around. That's liquid. And that's fertilizer. That should work. Hmm. Anyway, whatever. Um. Anyway, so yeah, let's let's get some. God, more genes from that from those bees. Let's get some of this. Let's just do half of this into there. And half of this, the other half into here. And that should give us a bit of oil. I think it's like three bits of oil for 50 of those. So we've got a quest on the go from ages ago, Acquire Oil, which we'll be able to complete as well along the way. Craft some oil and return to Welchi. Who? I can't remember who that was. I think that was possibly back on the Eden planet, or the Lush planet, whatever. Um, but we've got oil, uh, and now, and now we might be able to unlock... What I was trying to unlock. Press Y, press that, press that. Uh, advanced plastics, which is in chemistry. I've already unlocked some simple plastics, and we just need this. Um, for that, we need a little more oil, and also some plastic polymer. I've just made a quick alchemy table, which I shall temporarily put up here. Plastic polymer, which is made out of copper, water, and carbon dioxide as well. And that'll allow us to unlock complex plastics and advanced plastic. Engineering. Yes, there it is. Lab utilities. Refrigerated storage. We need tungsten and advan one advanced plastic. So let's upgrade our alchemy table. Advanced plastic. We can make it out of oil, sulfur and water and carbon dioxide as well. A couple of them. So we're leaping ahead here in the chemistry area of things, just so we can get this goddamn fridge. Unlock um, lab utilities. Right, the fridge, the food locker is in, in the auto assembler, so I needed to upgrade that. And please, where is it? There it is. Uh, we just need some tungsten and cryonic extract. Ugh, cryonic extract's going to be a. I need to go to a, I think a snowy planet and kill a few things. Hang on, I found a better way in theory. <laughs> It's complicated though. So I need some magnesium powder, or magnesite, into there to get some, I think it's magnesium powder. So we can unlock something, we can unlock a bit more chemistry. Oh, there it is. If we go through into the chemistry, boop, 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 boop. chemistry tree, and we unlock chemical reactions, which requires magnesium, one magnesium powder, we can now do that. And then we can unlock Elemental Synthesis, which allows us to make cryonic extract. A lot of research, but we can afford it. And presumably we have to do this in the chemistry lab over here. There it is, cryonic extract. The only problem is we need hydrogen. I think we can extract it from salt water. All that salt water that we've got on this planet might actually come in useful for once. Oh, here we go. Hydrogen. So one thing... I can't believe we actually haven't got hydrogen. We've got carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and oxygen, but none of that. Um, okay, let's get rid of those bloody baby lava. Hydrogen. And we should now be able to make whatever the bollocks in hell we're trying to make. Oh yes, cryonic extract, so we can make that goddamn fridge. Just in time for everything to have rotted. I've also made a lab directory, which was easy enough. That was easy. And food. Where, where can my food place be? Well, this is all getting moved around at some point. But finally, free refrigerated storage, so we won't be getting any of this rotten food in our inventory anymore. Put the potatoes in. As I think the, some of the fracking universe food doesn't go off, but the stuff that does, I'll keep in here. There's so much storage we need to do, though, but that can wait. For this horrible feeling, there is a, an earlier fridge you can make, but never mind about that. Anyway, okay, we'll stop here, because there's, there's a billion things to be getting on with, and I think, we've, uh, I think I've achieved the basic stuff. Get some power going, get some bees going. Uh, but we still need to do some of the, like, um, we need to get the organic soup up and running. We need to make a lot of decisions off camera as to where exactly we're going to go and what we're going to do in this series, because it'll be uh, interesting seeing where we can take this. I think I'm going to, my, my base, I think I'm going to concentrate on digging down into this, like, huge great desert island, rather than expand it up here and get big rectangular base syndrome like we usually do. But we're all, we're all starting to get set up for the rest of the, uh, the series, so um, for now, uh, see you next time. Bye for now.